Hey everybody, so I wanted to start this video today to give you a short little preview of something to come. Um, as many of you have probably seen in the past, this is my Swiss K31 uh, that I got from Centerfire Systems when they were running an absolutely super deal on them uh, when they were celebrating their anniversary. And i let you guys know that these could be had to the tune of about $400. It was an absolutely smoking deal. The only thing that was missing at that time um, was this detachable magazine and no I'm not pulling this out to get this video removed from YouTube I've got some strange policies I'm just going to try my best to abide by them and for the record these are all dummy cartridges this is not live ammunition so you know just a little bit of eye candy here I mean I showed you guys told you guys about this a long while back you know this is some of their training stripper clips that they have at uh, Numerich Gun Parts uh, and also you know the dummy rounds uh, very nice um, then of course you know I showed you the nice little paperboard ones that I had gotten I believe out of the Netherlands if memory serves me correct um, and then um, I had also showed you a while back about uh, these 3D printed one from Ascalon I believe uh, those might have came out of the Czech Republic I'm not 100% sure but all that aside, you know what I want to talk about today is one of the things, or one of the most recent ads of Hunter's Lodge. Um, as you'll see here, I'll try to, I may do a better uh, screenshot, but they have Swiss K31 barrel receivers slash actions for $109. So basically, you get everything that you see here, minus of course the stock. Um, your barrel band, your barrel band plus uh, stacking, um, uh, stacking, it's not a stacking swivel, but stacking band, whatever it's called. Um, your retention band, your trigger guard slash magazine, um, how mag mag well, I guess, and then of course the magazine. And of course, you don't get the sling with it. So basically, you're just getting the whole top half. You are getting the magazine cut off with it. I did verify that with James over at Hunter's Lodge, which is a plus. It's a little bit less parts to acquire. Um, but basically, my, I, you know, I got this one. This one's so nice. I don't want to, you know, I, I'll probably shoot it, but you know, I'm not real keen on shooting the, the really nice rifles I have. Um, but you get that barreled action for $109. I mean, that's super cheap. So then I was left with, well, all right, so can I get the parts I need for this? Turns out, yes, you can. You have to get them from a few sources, but it's totally worth it. I'm going to set this aside um, and kind of focus on some of these other things. So I did pick up, most recently, uh, the Trigger Guard from Gun Parts Corp. These are actually pretty hard to find. Uh, Liberty Tree Collectors does not have these. These are out of stock on their website. Um, so I had to get this through Gun Parts Corp. It's in very good condition as you can tell. But obviously something you also need with that are your front and rear screws for it to secure it to the action. I want to say this was like $25. Um, I forget how much these were. These weren't very expensive. So I already acquired that and you know the biggest deal killer of course was figuring out well, where am I going to get this um, stock from. Well did some searching and found one through uh, Colorado Gun Sales. Um, they only had two in stock at the time, but I went ahead and bought one. And I talked to a gentleman via email. He said, "Hey, we have more of these. We just have to get them cleaned up and get them ready to sell." But they had stocks, K31 stocks, for a hundred dollars. I was like, "Hmm, well, this is pretty good. This can make a K31 affordable." Um, much like that $400 price point through Center Fire Systems. So let me get that box. That's sort of what this is going to be today, is a little bit of an unboxing of the stock. Um, shipping was pretty quick. Um, they offer flat rate shipping, which is especially nice on some of the larger items like a stock. This, thing, this box is absolutely massive. I mean, the, the video, I can't even fit it all on here. I mean, I really can't. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, so what I'm fiddling with off camera here is just some, just some, well, packing slip I just dropped in the floor, but also got some pretty cool swag. 
Um, I guess Colorado Gun Sales used to be M&M &M Industries. I guess they're the ones, I think they used to make some some AKs. I'm not real sure. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Just a little bit of you know neat swag I got from them. A little morale patch, sticker, you know. These things are always kind of cool, you know, something cool to decorate your, your toolboxes with or whatever. Um, this thing is very well packed. Let me tell you. I mean, there's a lot of bow wrap. There's also some cardboard stuff in here. Let's if I can get this thing out of here. Because I'm curious to see what kind of condition their stocks are in. I'm thinking that even if this stock is, you know, kind of jacked up, you know, for $100 to be able to make another... Uh, K31 from that. Let's drop that box. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's certainly cheaper than what uh, they're going for on Royal Tigers website or Century Arms International. Uh, if you guys buy anything from them with your CNR licenses, I highly recommend you get your CNR license because uh, you can get a lot of parts super cheap through Century Arms, especially stuff that's uh, commonly or stuff that is currently being imported. So, I really packaged this well. I can just get it apart without destroying it or the bubble wrap. Wow, I'm making a mess. <laughs> I'm making an absolute mess here. Okay, let's get this. This is wrapped up exceptionally well. Just unwind it and see what we're looking at. Proverbial snake over here. Alright, so you can see butt plate is a little something to be desired. Let's see if I can flip this around so you guys can see it. It does have some rust on it. I wouldn't say it's perfect. But you guys know as well as I do, you can take something like this, like this off and refinish it. Um, it's a little worse for wear on the top side here. Some gouges, some dings. Um, my other K31 certainly looks better. I don't see any major cracks. As you can see, the hand, upper hand guard is just kind of taped to it. That's fine. I can clean that up. Oops, sorry. Just trying to show you guys all this. Oh, sweet. It does have the barrel band retaining band. I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> so I ordered a part I didn't need <laughs> from Liberty Tree. Uh, well, I'll have an extra. Cool. Um, the stock looks really nice. Other than, you know, it's kind of rough, but this is going to be my K31 shooter. does have uh, the spot for the or the, the the bar uh, for the sling, sling bar, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, this is, you know, obviously, looks like there might be a little bit of water damage here, like how that's kind of receded from the from the butt plate. But, I'll show you real quick, you can see your typical Swiss fashion stamping into the stock. Um, but I am pleasantly surprised for merely $100. I mean, by comparison, my other one, like I said, is in much nicer shape. It's actually a cherry shape. Um, but, you know, this is cool because I fully expect the one I get from Hunter's Lodge to be one of the ones I'm going to shoot. So, like I said, I did talk to the guy via email uh, at Colorado Gun Sales. They, were, they did say that they were going to get some more of these in. Um, really nice stock actually for the money. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> See, this one doesn't have a gouge out of the pistol grip portion like mine does. Right there. But anyway, so there you have it. Um, a couple other projects I got in, or I got in in the works. So, um, I don't know if I said this before, but I'll say it again just in case. The majority of the parts for this K31 barreled action you can get from uh, three primary sources, one of which being Colorado Gun Sales for your stocks. Your stocks otherwise will run you about $200 if you get it through Liberty Tree. These are $100 through Colorado Gun Sales. They're out of stock right now, but 
like I said, the gentleman in the email did tell me that they were getting more of them in and they were just kind of getting them cleaned up and ready to, to put out there for sale. I do not know if the future ones will have this butt plate on them or not, but they do also sell those as well as with the screws. Um, then you can get your trigger guard and trigger guard screws through Gun Parts Corp. They do currently have these in stock. I know this was about $25. I forget what the screws were. They weren't super expensive. So that's two sources. Uh, I lied. There's going to be four sources. You'll have to get all the parts. Um, a lot of your other sources of parts, i.e. your band, your stacking band, um, those are going to come through Liberty Tree Collectors. Uh, that's the best source I found to get those uh, reasonably priced. You guys can go out and look that up. Uh, they have a special K31 section on their website, or Swiss Rifle section on their website. And then of course what's left to get, meaning um, you know obviously your reproduction magazine. Um, believe it or not, one of the best places to get that is actually Century Harms. I think they're $59 a pop right now. Um, that being said, um, you can end up with a Swiss K31 for around $400, maybe a little bit more by the time this is all said and done. If you decide to go the route of getting this, whoops, this barrel receiver slash action from Hunter's Lodge. Um, so a couple of the other things that are in works. Um, I did also purchase, put in an order for one of their Italian Calcano carbines um, because they had stated with a few other model variations mixed in. So I spoke with James directly and I said, hey, you know, I want a Troop Special model or a, um, I think it's an M38, um, which is the full link stock, uh, similar to the one that, uh, the one that was used to uh, assassinate President Kennedy, unfortunately. Um, similar to that rifle. Um, same length as these, same length sight, um, but just full length stock rather than folding bayonet. Um, so I did order one of those. Those are $109.98. And then also, one of the things you'll notice I purchased, or I'm going to show you that I purchased, is a CZ-52 rifle. Now they do state, broken or missing stock will include extra parts, good to very good shape, $188.50. Um, so. At the time of this filming, Apex has project stocks for the VZ-52s. Uh, those will run you, I believe, $100 a piece. Um, I ordered two, and of course this was prior to Royal Tiger putting their video out saying that they were going to start manufacturing new stocks. Because prior to that, about the only place you could find a stock, oh, well there's maybe one or two places, but the stocks are like 400 something dollars, like new ones, insanely expensive. I mean, just they, they basically put your VZ-52 completely out of the price range of collectability. It's just, it's sad. However, um, I did buy two of those project stocks for 100 bucks a piece. I figure one of them will be usable, hopefully, maybe both of them. Um, and when I get that VZ-52 in from Hunter's Lodge, um, I plan on basically restoring that. Um, that being said, I also did order, a lot of you know anything about CNR guns, you know that the BZ-52s are chambered at 7.62 by 45, and it's almost non-existent. Um, gun Parts Corp, Nimrich Gun Parts does sell the chamber inserts. Um, I recommend you do your own research on those as far as how to install those and issues surrounding install those. However, I will say this, um, I bought one. I bought one through Gun Parts Corp. I want to say it was like 60 bucks, um, and I fully plan on tr seeing how well that fits, just for curiosity's sake. Um, because it's nice to have these rifles, but you know it's it's very unfortunate if you can't shoot it. So anyway, um, there's a lot of videos out on YouTube about that. You guys can do what you want with that. Um, I'm just letting you know so that you know where to go get the stuff. But. Um, so that's kind of what's in the works. That's some of the things that are coming in that I'm working towards. And thank you guys so much, for everyone, for subscribing, your comments, your shares, your likes. I greatly appreciate it. And congrats once again um, to Military Surplus Carbon Collector on winning that NV scope. Um, I will say this. Make sure you guys are signed up. That you click that notification bell. Uh, 
so that you know every time I put a video out. Um, unfortunately, there were only 25 comments in the in that last video for the giveaway. So everybody that was in there had a one in 25 chance of getting that NV scope, and surprisingly, <laughs> uh, my buddy Rusty Surplus ended up getting it. Um, I will be shipping that out today to him, um, so he will be the proud recipient of a Gen 1 night vision scope. Are they super nice? Are they, you know, like a pulsar or something? No. But it's good enough for taking care of varmints in the backyard. I can promise you that. Um, so anyway, guys, stay tuned uh, for upcoming videos. There's a lot of stuff in the works. There's a lot of projects I got going on. There's, As you full well know, there's a lot of parts of videos that I've not uh, done continuations of. There's a lot. I have so many projects to work on. It's insane. Um, just don't have enough time. Um, but anyway... Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment. It definitely helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, and I'll just keep cranking out more material uh, like this for you guys and letting you know about some interesting deals. Uh, we'll see what I get back from Hunter's Lodge. I have no idea, but you know what? I'm willing to take the risk so you guys can know what to expect. So thanks for watching, guys. You guys take care and have a great day.